I just got back from somewhere I haven't been in over a year. Yep. Today is the annual testing of the fire alarm system. All day long. It's like a scene from the Poseidon Adventure in here. But listen, it keeps us safe, and so I am not complaining. You test that fire alarm, just don't burn the house down. Therefore, I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Vice President Ford will be sworn in as president at that hour in this office. Dream. Mm -hmm.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I have to tell you, I know my 1930s, 40s era furniture when I see it. That 
is a 1930s, 40s era living room chair, Queen Anne legs. It's made out of mahogany. Let's see what's underneath that awful upholstery, which obviously has been replaced. Are you excited? Are you on the edge of your seat? Wow. Filthy? Yes. Can it be steam cleaned? Of course it can. There's your original old upholstery in excellent condition. This is some, I have, I have some furniture at home. I think everything in my great grandparents' house was covered in this stuff. And it is hard wearing furniture. It does get dirty. This is dirty, but I'm gonna be able to steam clean it. Clean up the wood. And there we go. We're back in the 1930s again. You can see how gorgeous the back is where it has never gotten any wear on it. What I'm gonna to try to do is bring the front up as close as possible. And we're gonna be able to get pretty close to that with a good upholstery, uh, steam cleaning it with a steam cleaner and good upholstery cleaner. So, uh, value on a chair like that? Not much. I seem to be almost the only one who likes depression era furniture these days, but I've rescued it. Mm-hmm. So that's going to go into storage for now. We'll throw this away. And then uh, we'll be back to see that some other time. Can't you just see that next to an occasional table with a cathedral radio and the Craft Music Hall Hour featuring the Boswell Sisters and Bing Crosby just booming out as you read your Saturday evening post. It's a beautiful chair. it is the lovely Second Avenue thrift store in beautiful Pensacola, New Jersey waiting for that to open up and while I'm sitting here I'll show you that I did find something else at the flea market you've seen this set before I think uh, made in Japan the wonderful Noel candles and they're all tucked down in that box they're uh, in need of a good bath. Let's see which, let's just take a peek at, there we go. That's the, what is that? That's the N. <clears throat> so all marked Japan on the bottom. And I checked them out. They're not chipped or cracked. A little bit of crazing, which is typical, but that's in good shape. And that'll be coming back for Christmas time, possibly Christmas in, in July, or we'll, maybe we'll just wait till next year. I paid five dollars for it. It will sell for, oh, I don't know what these are selling for now, but at least 25. It's nice to have the original box. Hi everyone. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Philadelphia. I just walked to get a haircut, which I did, and then I thought I would show you a little bit of the street scene here. It's pretty quiet. These are some of the old homes. A lot of these are uh, 19th century and many of them are 18th century homes. Okay, loved ones, some of the advice that was given to me many, 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 many years ago when I was a dumb 18-year-old trying to buy things at flea markets, uh, let's see, the was, is, if you, when you see something and you say to yourself, hmm, when am I going to see another? When have I seen another? If the answer is, I haven't seen another and I probably won't, then you better buy it. Well, this isn't rare by any uh, stretch of the imagination, but you don't often find great big rolls, vintage rolls of department store Christmas wrapping paper like this. Can you just see this? In Macy's department store with a stylish woman in cat eye glasses uh, wrapping your Christmas gift sometime around 1955. And I'm guessing that this is probably mid fifties. Could be a little bit earlier, could actually dip into the sixties take a look at the design on there. It's just looking very 50s. All right, 
that's I guess 36 inches in length I'm not sure it's just a guess and there's quite a bit of it as you can see so um, what am I gonna do with it well uh, I'm not gonna tell you yet Wow I just got back from somewhere I haven't been in over a year actually a year and two months the gym I'll tell you, it's not easy being on a treadmill wearing a mask, <laughs> but we're still masks on here in Philly. Now, I am fully vaccinated. Woohoo! Yes, fully vaccinated. And masks are coming off in certain venues, such as outside um, and under certain circumstances inside. But I finally felt safe enough to go back to the gym, and it felt really nice. Talk about out of shape. Oh, I'm still panting, <laughs> but uh, I was very careful not to overdo it because I'm really not wanting to debt to This is still this hand is still weak and I and this so is this wrist so but anyway That's not really what I want to talk about But I just wanted to share it feels so good for so many things to be coming back and it's Memorial Day weekend coming up this Weekend we're gonna be able to be outside and have picnics and all kinds of stuff I hope things are looking up wherever it is that you are right now. Now I'm going to get that wrapping paper out of the sun so that it doesn't fade. But what I would like to solicit from you is your thoughts. Now I already have an idea what I want to do with that massive roll of wrapping paper. Pretty much have figured it out, but I'm open to suggestions and I'd like to hear from you. So let's wait till all the motorcycle gang goes by. And now I'll ask the question, what would you do with all of that wrapping paper? If you're going to sell it, how would you sell it? How would you market it? What technique would you use? Okay, that's what I wanna know. So type that in the description box below. And then when I come back in another video, uh, I'll tell you uh, what I think and maybe incorporate some of your suggestions as well. Okay, I'm Scott from the old Curiosity Shop. As always, saying thanks for watching, and so long for now.